This is exciting um, as we begin our animal research project. So I wanted to give you just a little bit of an instruction on how to go about this. You've all chosen an animal and hopefully you all have a book um, from the library or you have a really good website you're working on with your parents. So the animal I chose was the ruby-throated hummingbird. And I have a book I'm getting information from. I think that my pink group will recognize this book because we did this in our reading group. So the first question on my yellow paper is where does it live? So the yellow paper is for point form notes. So just as you're learning about your animal, you're just writing down little things that you're finding out to help you with your thinking. Now, what I found over here was hummingbirds are only found in North and South America. This map shows where some species live. And I found my ruby-throated hummingbird. And here's an arrow showing that it's in North America, specifically in Canada. Okay. So my point form just has North America slash Canada. And then later on, when I turn that into a good copy, I'll make that into a sentence. Hummingbirds live in North and South America. The ruby-throated hummingbird lives in North America in Canada. So the yellow paper is just for our brainstorming and our ideas. The white page is for when we turn that into sentences and really work on our spelling. And then in this blank space on my good copy, this is where we're gonna put a picture. So I'm seeing North America, Canada. Now maybe I'd make a photocopy of this map and glue it over here or maybe I'll try and draw it. So on the good copy pages, I'd like to see a variety of either photos, drawings, photocopied pictures that you put in here. It's totally up to you how you wanna do it. When we're finished getting all of our information, we are going to make a diorama. Um, I will be posting more pictures about what dioramas are so you can actually get some great ideas. But you can choose any kind of a box and you're, cho you're making um, a habitat for your animal inside of the box. You might use plasticine or construction paper or real natural materials that you find outside. And then you're going to put your animal in there. So it has to reflect the habitat that your animal naturally lives in. So if I was creating a diorama for a hummingbird, let's just see where my hummingbird would live. And I'm going through my book and I'm looking, and it looks like it enjoys yards with flowers. So I might make a grassy yard with some big flowers because it likes to suck the, ne suck the nectar. I might even make a little pretend hummingbird feeder in my diorama. So these are just some ideas for you. I hope this helps.